this just came in and I've been wanting this for the longest. I started off with the Amazon display and what I liked about it was that I can take my pictures. I have a lot of family and friends photos, over a million. And, I, and I've scanned them all and I've put them digitally. I've uploaded them all to the Google Cloud. And Google really makes it really easy to share this with myself and others in regards to photos. I mean, it's great and even videos. So I had gotten this. So as you can see, I have two of them here. This is the Amazon display and the Google display. And what I, is the way the pictures just come up randomly. And it's just awesome that it does that. I, I get to see uh, my pictures I've taken and they're so random that I probably could spend the next 20 years standing here and I would constantly get a different photo. So it's awesome. Now, this is fine, but it just doesn't do it as well as this does. This I really love, works really well. I'm also using my Google as a uh, intercom system. I did a video on that, which is great. I have a bunch of intercom systems that allows me to... Um, Tonight, so it, forecast is it for really, I love and standing here and, and having this come up and show me all my old pictures. It's great. And we see pictures and, it's, and also one of the real nice features is that you actually can share your photos. There's an option here. Let me show you. Right there, there's an option there to share. And I could share this with contacts. See right there. And that is so cool. So that's one feature that I have not seen on the Amazon yet and it makes it easy. So I'm gonna replace this seven inch one and I've wanted to get the 10 inch one, but this 10 inch one is $50 cheaper and I still thought it was too much. But it, you know, if it's gonna, if I'm gonna get a digital display, I'm gonna get a smart one because it doesn't make any sense to get one of those large digital displays in that it is limited to just displaying certain things and accessing Google Drive and all that. With this, it's so smart, it does it itself. You set it up through the app or in the actual touch screen and everything just works great. So I'm looking forward to this just because of the size and I ended, oh, like I said, this is $50 cheaper and I had a coupon which gave it to me for an additional $50 cheaper. So I paid about $129 or $139 for the item. So I, I got a great price on it. Now, I've been wanting this for the longest. I just love to be able to see my pictures as I wake up in the morning or walk around in the kitchen at night, whenever I'm in the kitchen. And it's really nice. Plus, we use it a lot more than we use the Amazon. So... Again, like I said, I got this about $100 cheaper in total price, $50 coupon, and it's $50 cheaper than the Amazon, than the Google one. Now, I will tell you, I do like the Amazon one because nothing else here. The Amazon one is sleeker. I don't like this bulging speaker. And uh, Amazon, I mean, I'm sorry, I should rephrase that. Google. I do like the Google display, I'm sorry. The Google, this 10 inch display, it's sleeker, nicer, and I guess if sorry, I didn't have, I don't have a, any information about that. If I didn't have a large area to put this on, I'm gonna have to actually move the Amazon display because it's not gonna fit with this. So this is kind of big and bulky compared to the Google one. Big difference in size wise. I think it's a difference of two to four inches. Uh, left to right. I think they're the same height, but left to right is longer. So Let's open it up set it up and I'll let you know. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be happy with it, but I'll let you know my Only problem is that I'm hoping that this does the same things that the Google display will do I don't I hope it's not You know like when you buy a Samsung phone and you get the skin of Samsung and you don't get the true blue Android experience I'm hoping that this lets me do everything Google and I don't have any issues. Uh, 
I bought it from Best Buy. Best Buy has a great return policy, so I'm not worried about that if I'm not happy with it. Again, it's a very, it's very different than the one from Google. Very, very different. It's got a weird notch on it. I guess it'll never fall over. Let's measure this. So the display itself, the whole display itself measures uh, almost a foot. The display itself, the black area, uh, about nine and three quarters. The actual display, because I can see the line right there, and looks like the line is right there. It's about eight and three quarters by uh, five and a half. I'm assuming that's either the camera, it's a speaker, no speaker in the back. Let's see how far this sticks out. So that you know how much room you need in the back. It's six inches. Let me zoom in. Six inches. And wideness wide, about eight from that little area right there to here, this end right there. Pretty thin over here. And we'll take a real close up look at the actual item. I'll show you the whole item itself. Let's take the, oh well, let me finish taking everything out of the box. Should have the power supply in here. Instructions and additional paperwork. That's a power supply. I think the one from Google is round, so this one's a little bit different. And let me give you a close up look of the adapter just in case you need a replacement. You'll have information on it. I'll take a picture of it too, and it'll be at the end. The actual adapter is. Reminds me of the US, some of the USB adapters I have. So the, Right, two by one and a quarter. We'll see how long the cord is. I wish everything came USB powered, it would just make life so much easier. You could use the power connections for different uh, items instead of proprietary items. It's almost five feet long. That's the power supply. And let's see what else is in here. Nothing else but this. Yeah, it's all box. <laughs> Nothing else in here. Wow, a lot of box. So this is pretty much everything that comes inside that really large box. Let's unwrap it. We're gonna take a close up look on the item. I think it's over here. And I'll try it out for a couple of days and let you know how I feel. If it's just, I use it, my Google, a lot, a lot. Set timers, all kinds of stuff. And I'll let you know how I feel about it. So wood grain look. I don't think it's really wood. Let me touch this thing. It's like a plastic. I don't think it's wood. Honey, can you touch this? This ain't wood, right? It's just plastic. Touch this. Feels wood, right? Um, hmm. Hard to tell, right? It feels like freshly sanded wood, but I wonder if it is plastic. Yeah, I tried that too. It didn't work. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's really nice material. Very nice in the back. It's about as in the back. Oh. 
So this is the side. So I don't know if this is plastic or real wood. Let me know below. That looks like it's a mic opening. Another mic opening, I believe. That should be the on and off of the display. I don't see nothing written. So I guess I'll have to figure that out on the instructions. This is my first one I've ever gotten. This one has uh, mic. It looks like mic mute. And volume up and down. That looks like another mic opening. Can you stand this? I think you can stand this sideways. I think that's what that's for. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so you can stand this up sideways, it looks like. That's interesting. That's great. It's my first one I've ever gotten. I've seen some videos and some photos on it, but not anything detailed. And this is the actual speaker itself. There's nothing else. I'll tell you this much, this has a lot more buttons than the Google one because the Google display just has a, a on and off or a mute, I should say. Not on and off, just mute. So that might, oh, you know what? That might be a power button then. Yeah, you just tell Google to raise the volume or you, you, you uh, swipe to raise the volume on the Google. And it does have a mic mute behind it, the Google one. So this must be, I'm wondering, this is the on and off button. Oh, and there's another button down here at the bottom. Uh, what's this? I don't know. Let me find out what this is for. I have no idea. Uh, and nothing else. And I think you, see, you can stand it up sideways. That's interesting. I never even realized that when I seen these. I was so interested in the Google one that I never really looked at the Lenovo one. But I think you can do like, uh, what is it? The Google Duo video chat? And you could do it on portrait mode. That's pretty cool. Let's do portrait and sideways. That's something, is that so? Because it has these little legs here. If that is so, that means that this has more options than the Google one, because the Google one only sits one way. So that's really interesting. But let's try it. Let me get more information on this item. I've never owned it. This is my first time opening it. I saw it on display, some videos, some pictures, but never really sat there and got all the details. So let's look at some details. So the front camera is up here. This is it right here. You can see it right there on the left. You can stand it this way or this way. They don't want you to do it that way. That's no good. So it's either in this direction or in this direction. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then, um, of course, the speaker, which is here. You also have the volume buttons, which I showed you. Mm, right there, definitely. Uh, and that's also the uh, microphone, microphone mute switch is right there, right next to the volume. The power port, you saw that right there. The microphone is, so all the small holes, like I told you, that I figured there were microphone inputs, they're microphones. There's a bunch of them. I think there's four. So one, two, three, four. No other ones. Over here, uh, below the camera, is the light proximity sensor. The only info I could find on the Instruction is that this is a for service tool. So I guess this is for if you send it into service, it allowed access to the technicians to do whatever they do with it. So I guess we don't touch that. So now let's set it up. That's, I love this thing, awesome. Okay. 
got it in. So let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. All right, let me set it up. I don't want to go, I've gone through this on my last videos. You can look through it on YouTube. It just has too much information in regards to it. So let me run the app, which will be, let me just show you the app, just in case you don't know. That is the Google Home app. It looks like a home. That's what you run and install. I mean, that's what you install and then run to set these things up. Welcome to your new smart display. This is the home screen where you'll find notifications, reminders, and important information and learn more about what your Google Assistant can do for you. Say hey Google to get started. You can ask questions, play your favorite music and videos, get step-by-step -step voice guidance for thousands of recipes, control smart home devices, and more. You can also ask your assistant to complete multiple actions with a single command. This is called a routine. Just say hey Google, good morning and your assistant will show you your calendar, the weather, your commute, and whatever else you need to start your day. Want to share the moment? You can video call friends and family hands-free with Google Duo, also built in on new Android phones and available for free on iPhones. You can connect compatible smart home devices like the lights and thermostat through the Google Home app on your phone. There you can set up news and media, customize routines, and change the ambient mode, which is what you'll see when you're not using your smart display. To adjust volume or brightness, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. And anytime you want to exit, just swipe from the left edge. Give it a try now and see what your smart display can do for you. First, swipe down from the top. Great swiping. This is where you can find and control devices in your smart home. Now to close this, swipe up. Next, I'll show you where to find settings. Swipe up from the bottom. Well done. This is where you can control some settings, like screen brightness, volume, and a few other things. To hide these settings, tap anywhere. To hide these controls, try tapping on the screen. Now let's look at some things you can see on your home screen. To check out your day, tap anywhere. You've really got the hang of this. Throughout the day, I'll have new things here for you. Anything, from what's in your calendar, to top hits on YouTube. To see more of what's available, scroll right. Great job! Now, just as a final tip, if you want to learn more, you can always ask me, what can you do? Have fun, and bye for now.
What a difference in size, that's for sure. All right, let's take this out and put this one up. It's probably the size of both of them. Wow, pretty. It's really big. That's, wow, what a difference in size. You can just see it for yourself. You can really see the difference next to each other. Let's turn them around. And you can see the back. It's a big difference. Now, what I said, this is pretty cool that you could do this. I didn't even realize that. And you definitely can't do that with Google Display. Pretty cool. That's beautiful. Yeah. So after a couple of weeks, I've got to tell you, this thing is awesome. Works really, really well. I love this thing. It's the same exact thing as getting a Google Display. Same thing. It's just a different shape. And it's much cheaper. Uh, it looks like it averages $50 cheaper than the 10 inch Google display. Honestly, I would prefer the Google 10 inch display because it's more sleeker and this, and I don't get this speaker right here, but for the $50, I'll deal with it. I got it for an additional $50, which means I paid uh, about $139 for the item over paying 179. It works excellently, flawlessly, it's awesome. I love this thing. It works really great. And as a photo display, it's awesome. It changes the photos. I have several hundred thousand pictures in Google display in uh, Google Photos. So I'm able to display different photos every. I think it's. I have it for every thirty seconds, and it just it, the pictures are so random. It's awesome. I get to uh, enjoy the pictures I've taken. 30 years ago and yesterday. It's really cool. I really like it more of for that. Plus other information like the weather and other things like that. But I usually use it as a display uh, of my photos. This thing is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. Thank you, bye. Some info on item Lenovo 10-inch Smart Display with Google Assistant White Front Bamboo Back Model, ZA3N0003 USSKU, 626-7024BH number LESD 10GA cost, $129.99 purchased on Best Buy's website. Also available at B&H and Amazon. Overview description make everyday life easier with this 10-inch Lenovo Smart Display. Its built-in Google Assistant responds quickly to your voice commands, whether you need to check your morning commute or bring up a recipe, and the brilliant Full HD touch screen offers a colorful, crisp view. This Lenovo Smart Display lets you catch up with family and friends using video chat. Features just say hey Google with the Google Assistant built in. This Lenovo Smart Display is designed to make everyday life easier. Check your morning commute or the weather. Stream music, radio, YouTube videos, and more. 10 Full HD IPS Touch Screen produces sharp and clear image for web browsing, entertainments, video calls and more. Manage your home effortlessly control more than 1,500 connected smart devices which work with the Google Assistant. Built-in Google Assistant allows you to operate hands-free using only your voice to ask questions and give commands. Keep in touch catch up with your family and friends over a video chat or phone call using just your voice. Get things done find the quickest route, check the weather, or listen to the news without pressing a thing. Be entertained play your favorite music, watch celebrity chefs on YouTube or relieve magical moments through Google Photos simply by asking.
What's included Lenovo 10 Smart Display with Google Assistant Cable Adapter Quick Start Guide Warranty Card Compatibility Voice Control Google Assistant Works with Hue Nest Smart Things Wink Specifications Key Specs Built-in Speakers Yes Streaming Services Info Spotify YouTube Works with Info Google Assistant Hue Nest Smart Things, Wink Search Engine used Google. Streaming Media Player, S, supported Chromecast General Product Name 10 Smart Display with Google Assistant Brand Lenovo Model Number. ZA3N0003 US Color White Front Slash Bamboo Back Color Category White Audio. Built-in speakers Yes Streaming Services Info Spotify YouTube Number of Speakers Voice Voice Assistant Built-in Info Other Microphone Features 2x2 Dual Microphone Arrays Calling Features Video Calls Connectivity Wireless Multi-Room Audio Info Yes Connectivity Technology Info Bluetooth WiFi WiFi Compatibility Wireless AC Wireless B, Wireless G, Wireless N Network Connectivity Info Mimo, WiFi Search Engine Used Google Operating System Compatibility Android, Apple iOS Compatibility Works with Info Google Assistant, Hue, Nest, Smart Things, Wink Features Streaming Media Player, S Supported Chromecast Control Button, S. Microphone, Volume Indoor or Outdoor Use Info Indoor Front Facing Camera. 5 Megapixels Processor Model Info Qualcomm Snapdragon 624, Octa Core Display Display Type LCD. Display screen yes screen size info 10 inches touch screen info. Yes screen resolution info 1920x1080 power power source plug in dimension product height info 6.85 inches product width info 12.3 inches product depth info 5.36 inches product weight info 2.6 pounds warranty manufacturers warranty parts 1 year manufacturers warranty labor 1 year other UPC key features Google Assistant built Indiana Voice Activated 10.1 Wuxka Touch Screen 2 Dual Array Microphones Front Facing 5MP Camera Enjoy all the functionality of the Google Assistant in a 10.1 screen with The White and Bamboo Lenovo 10.1 Smart Display it is equipped with WiFi connectivity to browse online content, control your compatible smart home devices, and connect with other local Google Assistant equipped devices. You can make and receive video calls with its built in camera and mic. And the box Lenovo 10.1 Smart Display, White and Bamboo. Cable Adapter Limited 1 Year Warranty Lenovo Smart Display 10 Overview Lenovo Announces New Smart Display with Google Assistant Read More Lenovo Smart Display Product Tour Video 10 Enjoy All the Functionality of the Google Assistant in a 10.1 Screen with the White and Bamboo Lenovo 10.1 Smart Display it is equipped with WiFi connectivity to browse online content, control your compatible smart home devices, and connect with other local Google Assistant equipped devices. You can make and receive video calls with its built-in, front-facing camera, which takes 5MP still photos and 720p HD videos. The touch screen helps simplify on-screen app navigation if you prefer to not speak to the smart display. A physical mute button and a camera shutter control the microphones and camera in the smart display.
Note, a wireless network, the Google Home app, and a Google account are required to set up and operate the smart display. Ask for help from the Google Assistant make your day easier and your home smarter. Want to watch celebrity chefs, call the family, remember a birthday, or get the weather. Say hey Google to get started. See and hear what you need your Google Assistant is designed to streamline your tasks so you can spend more time on what you like most, like catching up with friends or having some quality me time. Enjoy hands-free. Always on help while you multitask. Set up routines like Hey Google, Good Morning, and the Google Assistant shows you the weather and your commute, switches on the lights, adjusts your thermostat, and gets you up to speed on the news all through one simple request. You can also customize your routines for any scenario and set up voice match for a more personalized experience. A picture is worth a thousand words sometimes, seeing is better. That's why the Google Assistant on the smart display enhances answers with images, maps, and videos. A smart way to run your home control and monitor your home from your kitchen, living room, or bedroom. Bye.